Close to 142,000 babies were born in Ontario alone in 2011-2012. Really? You had two of them. I had two of those, yes. <laughs> two of those. So you can imagine how many pregnant women were walking the streets then. Mm -hmm. So the number of couples experiencing infertility may actually shock you. This is National Infertility Awareness Week. Along with a little help from experts, there are ways you can try and boost your chances of conceiving naturally. You know, I had put up, postponed having children a little later in life because I wanted to concentrating on my career. Testing, hormone injections, the prospect of IVF. None were on Karen Johnson Basra's radar until she decided to try and get pregnant at 36. To her surprise, her age wasn't the only factor. It's really interesting how stress plays a toll on your body. To see how it did impact me so severely, I didn't realize it could be such a handicap. Karen is among the 15% of the population affected by infertility and the reality is many career-driven couples often delay having children. So one in six couples experiences infertility in a lifetime. That by age 30, women have depleted their ovaries of 90% of their egg supply. The good news is the remaining 10% is typically healthy. Also exercise, like yoga, is a great de-stressor and taking vitamins like a good prenatal vitamin, vitamin D and coenzyme Q10 will also help boost fertility. And don't underestimate sleep, it goes hand in hand with ovulation. Most women ovulate at nighttime, somewhere between 12 and 4 in the morning. Make sure that you're getting the appropriate amount of sleep for your body to be able to what do What would you say, eight hours is key? Six to eight hours. Dr. Marjorie Dixon says acupuncture can also improve blood flow to the ovaries. Drinking fewer cups of coffee, alcohol and butting out are also key. Smoking is, has antioxidants bad for the rest of your body, really bad for your ovaries. He's a true boy. Yeah. Karen underwent hormone injections before having two boys. She had her youngest at 40. For those who turn to fertility clinics like this one, treatment varies from patient to patient. And even without help, the chances of getting pregnant right away aren't so high. It's 25% per cycle in the ideal situation. So no problems with sperm, no problems with egg, no problems with the uterus, no other things that can impact fertility. Mm -hmm. And you may want to eat a, a lot of blueberries, blueberries as well if you're trying to conceive. They're natural and rich in mm -hmm. antioxidants, which are also going to help, she says. And they're delicious. They are delicious. <laughs> a healthy snack. Yeah. It could be good for fertility.